today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Creature Replica North American Sasquatch. This is the second figure the Spot's having a look at from the folks over at Creature Replica. Uh, you can find this guy currently, as well as the other three figures, on numerous online toy sites. You can find it also on Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, the North American Sasquatch comes with his own diorama display stand. Looks like he's about the size of the Yeti, so I'll show you a comparison when we get the uh, Sasquatch opened up. It's been around the back of the package. Other figures available are the Himalayan Yeti, the North American Sasquatch, the Horror Hound, and the Louisiana Rudgero, which again may or may not be the correct uh, pronunciation for that. True dedication to native folklore, witness reports, and historical records is the basis for this genesis of creature replica and the creation of our sculptural depictions. Our initiative wave, our initial wave, is in scale with six inch and seven inch action figure lines, fully articulated with environmental bases. Creature replica is approaching this line with a level of attention uh, to detail, sculptural refinements, and authenticity that has not been seen to the topic before. With that said, you will be seeing things that you're not going to look like the typical versions of cryptids that, we, that are generally thrown out there by the average toy manufacturer. Until now, serious crypto toy lines were as rare as the creatures themselves. Prepare to enter a primordial woods and frozen wastes of the world Explore its darkest corners, mysterious beasts undescribed by science are on the fringe, stomping through the forest, chittering in the shadows. Join our quest and beware. Capture them all to visit us on social media and at CreatureReplica.com. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up, but when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the North American Sasquatch. More anyway, guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Let's first have a look at the display stand that comes included with the Sasquatch. Now, whereas the Yeti would have had an ice terrain, the Sasquatch has more of a forest terrain. Some leaves, there's a little notch area here where you can take this extra log, and you want to make sure you line it up properly. And that just tabs into place. Just... I say line it up in place and then spot doesn't line it up in place. There we go. There we go. Kind of just adds a little extra to the display stand too, beefs it up too. You got a couple of peg points on the display stand that then can coincide with the, the Sasquatch. The Yeti only had two pegs. Sasquatch on the other hand has three. So depending on how you want to have it display, you can display it on the two. You know, you can display it. Well, I guess you could spread the, the legs on a further axis and you can have them on the two pegs on the outer end you can display it like that i mentioned this before with the yeti i'll mention it again with the sasquatch here uh, the stands are fairly small but factoring in how big these figures are it's kind of good that they are as small as they are because you can line the figures up on a shelf and they're not going to take up a lot of space again that being said though the figures are big there's a good bit of size for these figures I thought initially that the Sasquatch was sharing the same build as that of the Yeti. It wasn't actually until I put the two side by side. I didn't realize such a big glaring size difference between the, the Sasquatch and the Yeti. I kind of would have expected them to be almost mirror twins to one another, just short of the color difference between the two figures. But no, the Sasquatch is considerably smaller and almost more on a tamer standpoint not as feral as the Yeti. Which I guess really makes some sense that if the, uh, the Sasquatch has been living in relatively calmer climate, living out in the forest, they could probably find food a little easier where that of the Yeti has been more relegated to a feral state because food is a little harder to come by in the colder states. So yeah, that does make some sense, but a very big size difference between the two the Yeti out of the way. Love the coloring also on the uh, Sasquatch here. It's not quite a brown. Well, it is brown. Obviously, it is brown, but it's not a dark brown. It's more of a lighter brown, and then they've added darker brown washes around the shoulder areas, little areas around the backs of the arms, and more prevalent uh, darker washes right around the little areas where the muscles would be. As mentioned, though, the face is very calm, very calm, almost peaceful, 
Not to say that you would be messing with a Sasquatch, mind you, but a very calm, almost timid, more expression on the face. A much hairier complexion as well. There's a lot less, well, there's a lot less skin visible on the Sasquatch that was on the Yeti. Uh, pretty much, aside from its fingers, areas around the face and the toes, all of it is covered in fur. The Sasquatch, or Bigfoot, doesn't actually seem to have that big of a feet after all, although I guess if you compare it to human feet, although I've seen some that have garishly large feet, but if you uh, compare it, I guess, to a human foot, the Bigfoot would have a much noticeable size footprint versus a human. The hands are in a almost grasping uh, uh, sculpt, but again, it looks like it's a much more mild-mannered, timid beast that perhaps would not get violently aggressive unless perhaps its kin or you know, its offspring were threatened, or if its own life possibly were threatened by maybe hunters or, you know, poachers. I don't know if you would poach a Sasquatch. Good luck. That's all I have to say. Good luck. Um, it still has that same uh, waist or thigh cut uh, as the Yeti. Uh, it still manages to get a full range of movement in the legs, but I like that also it has that, that thigh leg split allowing for an extra clearance with the leg. And then you can kind of compensate the feet by angling them, uh, by pivoting them a little bit more. The stance also has the Sasquatch very much in the same vein as the Yeti, where it's kind of on more of a hunched over. But being that this is pr a primitive version of man, it would make sense that the creature would be more arched over and not standing upright. When it comes to the posability of the Sasquatch, uh, the head does swivel up and well it does swivel up and down it has a little more clearance to the back head movement than that of the yeti and the head does rotate left and right shoulders hinge out and you can rotate the arms all the way around swivel point in the bicep a bend in the elbow also a swivel point in the wrist being the ball joint attachments where the wrists have been uh, uh, added uh, it doesn't look like where I thought initially it might have had the torso crunch right underneath the pectoral area of the beast, but it doesn't look like it does. However, it does have the ball joint residing closer to the, the waist area. We've already discussed the legs. The legs go forward, back, and out. Uh, there is a single hinge knee and a pivot, put, pivot uh, ball joint in the foot. A very calmer state creature Though still kind of reminds me of Primal Rage, which I think actually near the end of the Yeti review, I call Primal Fear. But the Primal Rage uh, video game kind of just reminds me of these characters or that these characters would have been taken right out of the, the game. Not maybe so much this one. Definitely a lot more, though, with the Yeti. Really like these figures, though. Uh, Quality-wise, plastic-wise, it does have a good quality feel to it. Uh, I compared it all the Yeti uh, when I did the Yeti figure review, compared them over to something you would see from a Marvel Select. I use that comparison. I know it's not quite the same toy company, but I use that comparison to kind of, for you guys to be able to gauge the quality of the plastic. The quality of plastic is very good on these pieces. Sculpt's quite nice too. It's not my favorite. I think of the two, my favorite, it kind of just be more, because this one's a little more feral. I think my favorite kind of goes towards more so the Yeti, but I like the comparison and the, the, you know, the contrast between the two. One a little more mild-mannered, a little more calmer and subdued. One a little more feral and ferocious. So it's a really great contrast, especially when you're going to have these on the shelf. Today's Toy Spot, we were continuing our looks at the new creature replica of monster figures. We're looking today at the Sasquatch, or Bigfoot. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.